Listen up, criminal. That whole act of you being unconscious won't work on me. You're a prisoner now. You'll do what you're told without any questions. Understood? Now your first task is very simple. I will ask you yes or no questions, and you'll answer them using the buttons on your left and right. Facing forward, the button on your right is a yes, and the button on your left is a no. Question one. Someone locked up all the criminals in the swamp on the level above. Was that you? You saved a lot of time for someone that needs every minute on their hand. So thank you for that. That someone shall not be mentioned. Moving on. Have you ever come in contact with the threat shown on the board? Really? I'm surprised you're still in one piece. Third question. Have you ever come in contact with the threat shown on the board? Adds up. Fourth question. Have you ever come in contact with the threat shown on the board? I thought so. You must have come from the floors above. Fifth question. Have you ever come in contact with the threat shown on the board? That one gives me the creeps. Sixth question. Have you ever come in contact with the threat shown on the board? I hope the rest of your answers were as truthful as this one. Alright. Grab your belongings from the back and step out of the room. of time. You don't even work here. What on earth are you doing this deep down anyway, partner? You know what? Follow me. We can talk more inside. It's not very safe out here. Careful here. It's not very sturdy. Welcome to the kingdom. It's not up to me to decide what to do with your partner. We need to talk to the queen. And when we do, show respect. Your majesty, I've finished interrogating the new captive. And how would you rate the fruitfulness of that interrogation, on a scale of 1 to 10? Zero. They don't talk much, and I think they came from the surface. The surface? That's a new one. Hmm. Did they say what they're doing down here? I'm afraid not. I think I know. A worried parent can spot another worried parent from a mile away. I've heard the screams and the crash from above. You're here in search of your child. I fear you won't find them. Most humans have ceased to come down to this floor for quite some time now. We can help with getting you back up to the upper floors, but allow us to introduce ourselves first. I am Queen Valsalia, the ruler of the kingdom. This is Sheriff Toadster, the protector and only other citizen of the kingdom. I apologize on behalf of both myself and the Sheriff for the rough reception. We've all been a little on edge lately. I'm sure you can understand. Uh, how's the elevator back up doing, Sheriff? Not too well. It's missing some crucial parts. Three to be exact. Do you know where these parts are? Yes, Your Majesty. I was previously too occupied to go and collect them. The coming hours will be rough for us all. 
This is not your battle, parent. A sheriff, a company for parent, and don't grab the missing parts. But your majesty, we should be focused on protecting you. You win once you two get back with the parts in hand. All right, you heard the lady. Let's head to the station, partner. You get by too well for someone who doesn't utter a word. You know that? Maybe I should talk less and see where that gets me. Much of what the Queen has said really downplayed our situation. We're in trouble. A lot of trouble, partner. The Queen's jester has gone rogue. No matter what happens, he must not make the Queen laugh. Otherwise, what's in her pouch escapes, and we all die. The three parts of the elevator are scattered across three stations, which we can get to using this old transport system. I believe it's two tickets per rider. Two for me, two for you, and two for little B here. There should be some scattered around here. You know, I get your confusion, partner. I really do. What's a massive bipedal toad with a hat protecting a giant purple kangaroo queen for? After I was thrown down here by your kind like I was trash, I was hopeless, aimless, cold, and miles away from the promised surface. Long story short, I was found and accepted at my lowest. It was then that I declared myself the ultimate protector of the queen. It's a cause worth fighting for. Good-hearted individuals deserve protection. We're here, partner. Let's get this over with. The part we need should be in the administration room, within the ventilation corridors. But it looks like the door's locked. Oh, what? What's happening? You stay in there and don't move. I'll figure out a way to get the door open. Prepare to get toasted! These toad stars never disappoint, partner. That, my friend, was the jester I was talking about. AKA, Bitter Giggle. He now knows we're not in the kingdom. Let's grab the party and get out of here. Wait. I know my enemies. We're being stalked. These vents are interconnected. They make perfect traps. I'm sure there's a way we can tell which ones are rigged. We just need to figure it out. That's the part we need from this section. Let's head back and see if it'll fit. Let's head for the elevator to see if the part fits. Perfect. That's one of three. I'll stay here and put everything together. For now, maybe just hang around the place and talk to the queen when you're ready. Welcome back. I hope your journey was worth it, and the elevator a little more usable. I wanted to let you know how much I respect the things you are doing to get your child back. Putting your life on the line and fighting forces far more powerful than you like that is just... admirable. As a token of my respect, please accept this blue keycard. While not much, it is what we consider a symbol of trust. I am proud to announce that you are officially a citizen of the kingdom. Feel free to stay as much as you like, even after you get your child back. The kingdom can now proudly announce that it has reached a population of five. I say five because a friend of yours showed up while you were away. He was in a damaged state, so... I told him to stay in the infirmary. He asked for you, so perhaps you could speak with him when you had time. Welcome back. I hope your journey was worth it, and the elevator a little more useful. We're very close to having it fully fixed. I pray for the safety of the children you're looking for. When you do find them, can I ask for a favor? 
Could you try and occasionally come visit? It's been so long since we've had a visitor that isn't trying to harm us. Please do consider my request. Other than that, I don't want to keep you any longer. Also, it appears more of your friends have arrived. If you'd like to go check on them. This is the first entry to what I will refer to as the Toadster Archives, where all information gathered about criminals will be recorded. Criminal number one, the Snail, was captured near the front gates of the kingdom while I was on patrol. The Snail was captured while hiding in her shell, and has remained hidden since. It was initially thought to be an empty shell husk, until quiet crying was heard coming from within the shell. All attempts to convince the snail to leave her shell have failed. The reason for this extreme distress has not yet been determined, but I have a theory. This criminal ain't from around here, so it's possible that this foreign hostile environment is what's causing this unnatural behavior. More updates soon. This is the second entry to the Toadster Archives. Criminal number two, the teacher, was captured near the elevator that goes down from the third floor, where a human was also captured earlier. Unlike the snail, the teacher was extremely hostile towards me, citing a missing student from her class as the reason she's even down here. Numerous failed attempts to escape were recorded, but it appears she's finally given up. Numerous objects were introduced in an attempt to calm her down, with only a few excess bowling pins seeming to do the job. The teacher has been sitting in a corner since calming down, repeating the sentence, I can't be late, to herself, over and over. Truly an interesting case. This is the third entry to the Toadster Archives. Criminals numbers three and four, the birds, were captured by being lured in their current holding cells. Their sudden and unannounced appearance within the walls of the kingdom took me by surprise, but they are now safely contained. They seem to be very territorial, as they did not exhibit any hostile behavior as long as I kept my distance from their cell. It also seems that they were frantically looking for something, although I'm not sure what exactly. Since containment, they've remained completely still. I think they might be trying to trick me into getting in to check on him. I'm not falling for that. More updates soon. This is the fourth entry to the Toadster Archives. Criminal number five, the Green Gorilla, was captured by fallen victim to an intricate trap that was designed and set up in the feeding sector by yours truly. So far, the Green Gorilla has been chained, so not too much information has been retrieved. So far today, we've received seven cases in only a few hours. It's very unnatural. Something up above has happened that's causing these cases to end up down here. It hurts seeing familiar faces in this state, but I cannot risk my health to help old friends that may have gone mad. More updates soon. Your Majesty, I have finally come to do what I was made for, and deliver my jokes! This is my best back yet! I command you to leave, and not tell any jokes! Oh no! Look at what you have done! Give me that satisfaction. 
satisfaction one last time. All I want is to make you laugh. But you know what will happen if I laugh. I do. And I told myself time and time again that some things are more important than laughter. But I can't wait anymore. I need to make you laugh, even if just for a little bit. I can't be put aside again. I am nothing without a ruler to entertain. I am sorry. Your Majesty, tell me, what did the train conductor say to the kangaroo? Hop on! <laughs> that was terrible. We gotta run! This entire floor is going down! The naughty ones are escaping! I managed to get the elevator to work, but only partially. It can only go down, but right now, we have to escape this entire floor to anywhere else! Everything we've worked so hard to build, just ruined. I've let the other prisoners go, but grab this one. Things he knows will definitely be useful. If we make it down there alive, we need to find the Queen's Scepter. It's the only thing that can stop this madness. <laughs>